They have customer service. Hello, 24-7. They have celebrities. Hey, Danny. But with Florida Credit Union, there's no annual fee, no liability for fraudulent charges, and no 22% interest rates. Choose Florida Credit Union, and you'll not only have a great credit card, but you'll have the support and personal touch that the big banks, well, can't touch. Florida Credit Union, connecting your money to your life. Federally insured by the NCUA. Wow, just in time. I'm right under the wire. Our, our guest is on the phone. I was so looking forward to speaking to her. Well, last time she was on, uh, I think I fell in love with her on. Is that okay to say oh, that? Oh, yeah. Is that, okay? is that is it inappropriate? Hey, I like that. It's okay. It's not appro- <laughs> it's, it is appropriate. Eve- Evelyn Eileen Smith, E.E. E. Smith, is on the phone. Her uh, her books uh, show her initials, not her name, E.E. E. Uh, last time she was on, she talked about um, the previous book. To this one is called Times Like These. The last one was called Boarding House Stew. I don't. I don't know if it's the forties. I don't know what it is. I don't know if yes. it's the trains. I don't know if it's the romance. I'm kind of a sucker when it com- I, I like a chick flick. You know, I'm, I'm that kind of a weirdo. No. But anyway, e, so I'm so glad that you have another book. E. E. Smith. Good morning, Evelyn. How you doing? Well, I'm doing fine, uh, and I recognized your name as soon as um, I heard it. Uh, th- then we did talk about boarding house too before, and I was uh, wondering if that was it. So. Uh, you're you're absolutely right. Yeah. Well, it, there's something I don't know what it is. I didn't. I wasn't alive in the 40s. I was. Uh, I was probably a thought in my father's mind. But <laughs> <laughs> I think they call it a gleam in my father's eye. Yeah. Well, I'm sure it was, and the gleam must have lasted a decade or so. Because. <laughs> <laughs> but, but but anyway, yeah. There is something about that era. Do you write about that era um, with fondness? I mean, having. I mean, these. This is a memoir, basically, even though it's written as a novel. Well, uh, yes, those, uh, those novels, uh, Boarding House 2 and Times Like These, and a third one called In Love and War, are all autobiographical novels. Uh, a, a little bit of, um, of fiction, mostly fact. Um, and, and so, uh, yes, I do write about that era with fondness. Um, and uh, in this book, there's a little more, um, uh, some, uh, some is... Some parts of it are not. I'm not so fond of. Um, it was very difficult to write this book. Um, and I, you may remember that my father was kind of falling apart at the time, and their marriage was falling apart. And, yeah. And my life was falling apart, but it uh, it does end happily. I I'm glad to say. Well, and, and maybe that's why we like looking back, is because we know that whatever troubles we went through. We get out of them some way or other. It's not we always a it's it. not always yeah. a happy ending, but you get out of it, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we d- yeah. certainly didn't uh, didn't know how the war was going to end, um, World War Two. Yeah, and uh, this book, uh, Times Like These, um, uh, takes us through uh, the end of the war, six years of peace, and then uh, the beginning of the Korean War. So uh, we didn't know how things were going to go in those days, and that's where the titles of these two books come from, Um, uh, Boarding House Stew, comes from um, an old saying, times like these are about as unpredictable as Boarding House Stew. In other words, you never knew what was going to be in the Boarding House Stew. So when you wrote that line in the the first book, you, you never knew that the line was going to give you a title for the next one. No, I didn't, and I took uh, the, the title from that boarding house too. And then the beginning of the um, of that um, saying is times like these are as, as unpredictable. So that's where the title comes from. There. And what's the third title? The third one is called In Love and War, and it's called a memoir actually uh, because it takes in a whole long, um, well, mostly wars. Uh, some loves and, wow, wow. and uh, other other things that happened along the way. Uh, that's one thing about the World War II era is that there is such a contrast. On the one hand, it was ultra romantic, and on the other hand, it was so devastating and horrendous. And in the middle of it all was uh, Harry Truman because he had such a de- decisions to make. Well, that's right. Uh, the war really almost killed and probably did helped to uh, kill uh, President Roosevelt, who died in April of, of that year, 1945. So he never saw the end of the war. And uh, you're right, uh, that era was so different from today. Uh, most of us are just war-weary and sick of the whole thing. We just want peace and, and prosperity. Uh, but in those days, because we had been attacked so cruelly uh, by um, Japan, 
uh, and uh, the war started with Germany, of course. Uh, everybody seemed to be patriotic. They were all doing their jobs. We were all in it together. There yeah, was yeah. Spirit of camaraderie. Uh, everybody pitching in and, and doing their part. And today it's quite different, I think. Tell me about the trains. This 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 this, this podcast. <laughs> you like trains. Yeah, they're, they're, you got trains in this one. You got the you got the California Zephyr in this one. <laughs> Yeah, the uh, well, the, the California Zephyr was later, but the uh, Expedition Flyer was the first uh, uh, really famous train, I guess, uh, that the uh, Western Pacific, where my father worked, uh, ran, and that was uh, named after the expedition that took place place in uh, uh, California. Um, and, and then the the California Zephyr actually was a diesel uh, and looked quite different from the Exposition Flyer, which was an uh, old-fashioned um, uh, tra- uh, coal and water train, black smoke and all that. Isn't it, isn't it weird that Hitler had a train that he called the America or something? Did he? Mm-hmm. I didn't know that. Yeah, I th- or, or with a K, like he spelled it America with, um, or American or something like that. I can't remember. Uh-huh. But yeah, he was so he was really in love with America. He wanted, he was jealous of us. He wanted to have what we had, and he and he, he he thought that was the way to do it was just kill all the Jewish people. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy, crazy. <laughs> Just get rid of Europe and come to America, huh? Yeah, yeah. He could have just moved here. Uh, saved us all a lot of grief, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So when, when somebody says they get, I'm, I'm lost in a great novel, and you're the writer, I mean, you, you do you get lost in these novels the same way the, oh, re- the readers do? Ab- absolutely. I get so lost um, when I'm really writing, and, and I don't write on a schedule. I don't have an outline. I don't know where the book is going or how it's going to end or anything. I just start writing. And I get so caught up in it that I forget to eat. Um, I can't sleep. Um, you know, I've just become kind of a hermit for uh, the amount of time that it takes really? me to write. And uh, so that I write very quickly, I guess. I don't take years to write a book. So I have a, I have a, like months. I have a personal question for you. All right. Do you, or have you in your lifetime, fallen in love easily? Do you fall in love easily? Well, I think I do. There's a song called I Fall in Love Too Easily. You may re- remember that's probably before your time, too. Uh, but I kind of think of myself as I'm a romantic. Mm. Yeah. Well, and it shows. And I, I think the book is, is one of the reasons I like these the, the books that you've written is because of that very fact right there. Mm-hmm. I'm not ashamed to say that I, I, I like the what they call chick flicks. I'm not ashamed yeah. to say that. <laughs> right. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Um, I don't read, uh, um, I don't want to men- mention any other authors, but I don't read the so-called uh, romance novels. Um, I no, have, because, the, the, but yours isn't like them. No. Yours is very uh, different well, than I, I think so. I think that's true. There is a... Uh, a difference. Let's hope there is. No, I know. I like your stories because they are stories that have something romantic in them, not the, focused on the romance. It's right. not focused on no, the romance. I, have, I think they have more heart uh, and and feeling sentiment maybe um, than actually. It's romance. life. You can when you yeah, walk into yeah. a, when you take us to, into a room in that house in the book. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. You sm- you can smell the room. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Does that make sense to anybody? You can smell it. I I don't know if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Um, You you get a sense for what it was like. You got a sense for what it sounded like outside the window. You get you get a sense that the window is open. Exactly. Well, that's uh, that's a great compliment because um, I have trouble or did have trouble writing prose um, because uh, you may know I was a playwright for a long time, and I can write dialogue. I love to write dialogue. But I thought, how do you fill in dialogue with prose? I don't know how to do that. So uh, from what you're saying, uh, I hope that I have accomplished um, some expertise in prose, although I do uh, do a lot of dialogue as well. But I'm a dialogue fan. I like dialogue. It's, it's one of the reasons I, I think I'm a, um, a Woody Allen fan. He's a great dialogue writer also. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, and I do use a lot of dialogue, and I have an ear, I think, for how people sound and uh, it, actually I can remember whole conversations of, of people um, from from this era so I have put all that into the book. I would recommend for our listeners if you have never read Boarding House Stew that's a, an awesome book this this one is just as awesome get get them together and get the third one whenever it's out mm-hmm. um, this one is called Times Like These E.E. E. Smith the two initials E.E. E. for uh, Evelyn Eileen and uh, look her and up online. E-books. 
on uh, on there on Amazon.com. There, uh, the originals are out of print, and my publisher has done them now, reissued them as eBooks. Oh, excellent! Wow. Oh, see, I'm getting into eBooks lately. Yeah, I, I've been doing I the whole. I can't get used to it. I I have to. I'm going to be. Um, uh, negative here. I like to hold a book in my hand and, uh, you know, put it on my lap. That was me it. last year. <laughs> 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 well, you're young and adaptable. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> well, you really take a history, you take your words, you take your humor, and you really uh, wrap them up really, really incredible in your book. Such a great read it is. And I got lost in the characters. Well, I'm happy to hear you say that, Robin. I, uh, I think that's a great compliment. Um, that encourages me to write more. <laughs> oh, you should. You should, because as a, a humorist also, you're absolutely outstanding. So if I ever meet well, you, I'll be sure to show up in a uniform. I understand you like... <laughs> you like. Absolutely. I fall for any uniform. No, not any <laughs> uniform. But I did fall for a uniform in, uh, in the third book, which is called uh, In Love and War. I did fall for a uniform... Um, and uh, that uh, that didn't work out so well. But you'll have to read that book. <laughs> but there are more um, books that I've written, four mysteries, since I st- stopped writing these novels. And they are pure fiction. Just where are you? Did I ask came you? Out of, came out of nowhere. I don't know where. Where, where are you calling from? Where am I calling from? Yeah. Um, I live near San Francisco, north of San Francisco. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Um, and, and so I'm way across the country from you. All right. Well, I guess you probably won't be in Florida anytime soon. But if you ever are, you're welcome <laughs> into the studio. We'd love to get to know you. If I'm ever out there, yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll call you up and have coffee oh, or something or great. tea absolutely yeah i'd love that uh evelyn it's wonderful th- talking to you thank Thanks you so much thank you uh everybody go online go to amazon get the ebook it's uh called times like these it's e e smith's second novel out of three the third wasn't out not out yet right no it's out oh it yeah. is out also an, it's also an ebook oh my goodness yeah. okay oh, so nice. the third one is out. okay i, I guess i yeah. thought it was on its way no uh, the whole series is on and boarding house two is an ebook too now all right. Does your family like it? You have family that are that are in the um, story. I, yeah, my my family. Um, actually, I only have cousins left now. Um, I seem to have outlasted everybody else. But um, wow, uh, they they like my books, um, and they're kind of uh, overawed uh, by them. I think. Uh, I don't. There aren't any other writers in my family. I don't know where uh, this, uh, if you want to call it talent, hmm. uh, came from. Uh, but but they uh, they like them. Yes, I I get good feedback from them. Well, so we wouldn't even be talking to you if you didn't have that talent. So <laughs> you're a charming <laughs> lady. Right. Thank you. Absolutely delightful. Yeah, it's always fun. Right. I, I I sure hope you have another opportunity to come on the air with us. Uh, well, I I, so, I hope so too, uh, because it really is a pleasure talking to you. Evelyn, thank you, and and have a great summer, and and hopefully we'll speak to you soon. Okay, good. All Thanks right. a lot. We'll be <laughs> right back. Weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. It'll be partly sunny today with a high of 84 right on the coast, but about 90 inland. Partly cloudy tonight, though 66 inland, 72 at the coast. Tomorrow, partly sunny with a high of 82 on the coast, 89 inland. On Friday, sunshine and some clouds. There may be an afternoon thunderstorm, the high 83 at the coast, 88 inland. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. Hi, this is JP from Penn Flooring here in Ocala. I would like to invite you to come in and visit our spacious showroom where we have solutions for every style and budget. From wall-to-wall carpet to hardwood floors and tiles, we have an unsurpassed selection of flooring. At Penn Flooring, we've provided quality customer service with a family touch for over 25 years. Visit our website at penflooring.com or come by our showroom, 1201 Southwest 17th Street, just over the bridge. Penn Flooring, quality customer service with a family touch. If you're anything like I was, 